All right, let's look to the emerging markets because the president of Peru is asking Congress to bring elections forward by two years. This is an attempt to pacify protests in the days since her predecessor's impeachment last week. Joining us now to discuss this is Sherry On. Sherry, you've been all over this. You've been writing about it and tweeting about it on social media in Spanish. Walk us through what we need to know here. Stunning pictures. Uh, really, the violence has continued the last few days. So, President Dina Boluarte now coming out and sort of giving in into one of the demands from the protesters, which was bringing forth the election. So, she was supposed to have her term till 2026. She was elected with Castillo. So, uh, that would have, but now she wants to really bring it forward by about two years. Uh, protesters still want more. They want Castillo to be released. He's been detained by police. They want to rewrite the Constitution. Uh, we'll see if bringing forward the elections will help. So far, they've really put up blockades among highways. We know that uh, Peru, of course, is a big commodities exporter. Did you guys know that Peru is the world's biggest blueberry exporter? So we might uh, see some impact on those supplies. Yeah. I just spoke to the CEO of uh, big miner Antamina, which is the copper zinc venture owned by BHP yeah. and Glencore. And he was saying, you know, right now operations are fine, yeah. but he doesn't know what the outlook is like. So there's a lot of uncertainty.